Hey guys, welcome back. Hello if you are new, my name is Sarah and I make a ton of plus size fashion videos just like this one all on my channel and I also have a bunch of other content here on my channel as well. <laughs> I would love it if you hit the subscribe button down below and joined our little family and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Sarah England and today's video is a plus size fashion haul from Shein. I haven't done a plus size fashion haul in a little bit. I'm so excited to get back into it. I'm so excited that it is spring and summer. I have been missing the warm weather like nobody's business. I cannot wait to be in the pool and have tons of barbecues. I am just so excited. So I decided to do a little bit of shopping and go on Shein. Now I feel like Shein and it kind of like goes up and down in trends. I feel like a couple years ago Shein was really big and then Zaffle was really really big and now Shein's really really big again and they're virtually very similar um, but right now I feel like Shein is all the rage. Um, they do have a bunch of really inexpensive super trendy items. Now they are considered fast fashion so that is something that you do not like to purchase from or are looking for something more sustainable this is probably not the place for you um, but if you are looking for some fun new cute trendy items from Shein I am excited to share them with you. So um, everything I pretty much got I believe was in a size 3x which I believe is either a 16 or 18 on their website. They do run smaller because they are an Asian based clothing line and so everything runs a little bit smaller. Um, I do believe that they it's either 16 or 18 though um, and I'm happy to say that everything fit. Everything was like a knock out of the park this haul. I am so happy that everything worked out the way it did and I feel like since the last time I ordered Shein, from Shein, which I think was around this time last year, I feel like the quality has gone up quite a bit. Like everything I got, I am incredibly pleased with. I also got a couple of accessories that I'm excited to share with you that I'll share with you at the end and all of that. So let's just hop right into it, shall we? Let's start with the first item. So the first thing I, oh my gosh, excuse me. The first thing I got was this really, really beautiful, lightweight, fun, um, spring summer green dress wow so many adjectives that i just used this is kind of a cheered ruffled dress um it's in this forest green color it has buttons going all the way down the center the buttons are not functional um but they're so they're they're just for decoration but i don't find that it really makes a difference as if you needed a button or not um now this is kind of that jersey model style fabric it's really soft really stretchy however they do put kind of the stitching along those tiers and so there is no stretch in each of those tiers so it's stretchy yes but not in probably a way that would be really beneficial um so i definitely would uh, read the measurements online and find the correct size for you. Um, it does have some lettuce edging on both the sleeves as well as the bottom of the dress. It's really subtle, but it is there. Um, I love this dress. I feel like it is super, super cute, really lightweight, j about the same quality that I would have purchased at like Target or Walmart or Forever 21. Um, I love the, the like light knit, lightweightness of this. I feel like it's super, super cute and trendy and will be perfect for me as a mom running around during the spring and the summertime. This would be cute as like a bathing suit cover up if you like want to go to the beach and want to eat something and like go to a restaurant or something but just want to have your swimsuit underneath it. I just love it. I think it's really, really adorable. I'm so glad I got this. Like I said, this is in a size 3XL and I'm glad that I got that size. All right, moving on to some crop tops. When do I ever have crop tops on this channel? Let me tell you, never. <laughs> I never do crop tops. I normally am like the last person to even like wanna try something like that. I have had multiple children. I have lots of stretch marks, which you will see in the try on haul. Be gentle to me, okay, be kind. Um, it's, it's just not my like most favorite thing about my body is my tummy, so I'm not normally one to wear crop things. But more recently, I've just been branching out and trying to accept my body as it is. I probably will not wear these out in public, but just at home with my family, cleaning, just being relaxing and lounging at home. I thought these were just something fun to try. So I got this ribbed um, tank crop top, ribbed crop tank top. I don't know. I don't know. It's like 
half of a tank top. Um, this is in like kind of a black base and then it has like almost like bleach dye all over it and so it's kind of bleached and acid washed and it's so cute. It's ribbed. It's really, really, really stretchy. This is also in a size 3X. It has like a really cute like little cutout um, at the neckline and then the bottom is that lettuce trim. I love this. I think this is so fun. I also saw this on like a mommy and me set or like a little girl set. They have like little girls clothes and so I was like how fun would this be for it comes with like pants and stuff though and I think it's a little bit longer for like Ollie and I to match like I think it was so fun. Um, like I said super super cropped definitely if you have a large bust just take that into account because it will like like really kind of bring up the length of the front. Um, but I love this. I'm going to wear it with leggings you saw on the try on haul. It's just something comfortable, really lightweight, really nice for the summer when we're still lounging about and still just being careful. I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. I still think so many of us, regardless of vaccinations or not, are still going to be staying at home and still kind of lounging and having just an easy day. And I just, I love this. I think like we're never going to forget loungewear and how much it helped us in our lives. So I love this. I'm glad that I tried it out. I feel like, yeah. Go me for wearing crop tops. I'm excited about it. So I definitely would recommend that one. I also got this little crop top, um, which you will see with a sweater. This is just a basic kind of off-white crop top. I love the softness of this fabric. Once again, it's like that jersey model. It's so, so soft, but it's nice. It is a little bit see-through, like I wouldn't wear a black bra underneath this, but it has some weight. I don't know how to describe that. Um, I love the like liquid, look, the liquidity liquidness what the heck why can't i not think what is that word is that a word you know what i'm saying it has like a liquid movement to it man i promise i'm not an idiot um it has a square neckline with these really thin little straps spaghetti straps now i will say the back definitely comes up i feel like a little bit less as you can tell than the front i'm sure you can measure it out but typically on me it's not super super even um however i don't mind that i think it's really comfortable i would rather have more coverage in the front and the back which is where i need it now like i said this is in a 3x this one is super stretchy it gives me all the 90s early 2000 ytk vibes this will be perfect with high-waisted shorts high-waisted leggings high-waisted jeans a skirt what have you once again just another really good loungewear piece just kind of a staple basic i like it with that in the try on haul i had this little number that i'm currently sitting on so when I was trying on that little white one, um, I had this on in the try on portion of it. Um, and it's this just, oh my gosh, the cutest freaking sweater I've ever seen in my life. It's just bright pastels. This makes me so happy. I love this sweater. It's super long. I did not expect to it for it to be as long as it is. It goes to my, my calves. It's very, very long, um, but it's super comfortable, really, really cute. It is warm and cozy, but it is lightweight enough where it doesn't like trap in all the heat where I'm like sweating. I think that has to do with the looseness of the knitting i love the colors i was worried that it would be kind of washed out in person but it is just as bright in person as it is on line um i will say however this isn't a size 3x and i absolutely would recommend sizing down at least one it definitely runs really large now if you want something that's really, really oversized, super, super baggy, then get the size that's recommended. But if you want something that's a little bit tighter fitting, then I would probably size down one, which I think I would have done. However, it's not big, overly big where it's worth to me to send it back to get a smaller size, especially because I'll probably end up just wearing this kind of instead of my robe, which I literally wear all the time and I need to stop wearing. Um, I'll probably wear this as just kind of like a sweater around the house in the morning, stuff like that, running a quick couple quick errands with that white crop top and some high-waisted leggings. It's just so cute. It makes me so, so happy. I love this. This one was a bit more of an expensive item. I think this was uh, like, I think this was in like the $20 to $25 range. So it was a little bit more expensive, but it was definitely, it's definitely really, really nice. And I definitely feel like it is similar to quality to something you would have purchased about the same amount at Walmart, Target, Forever 21, like I said earlier. Like I said, everything quality wise, I am actually so impressed when it comes to Shein. So like this time around, it is literally, it's gotten worlds and way so much better. Keeping on that same track. So I 
got this fun t-shirt i feel like t-shirts are super in right now all like the graphic tees and screen tees to wear them with biker shorts to have them tucked into shirts super oversized super cropped all that type of stuff i'm normally not one for t-shirts out and about but i feel like i need to get back into that because i used to love it um so i got this shirt i love like all the vintage style band tees and i feel like all of this is in a band tee it gives that vintage vibe it's like an off-white kind of it's a cream a very light beige more creamy uh t-shirt once again super 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 soft fabric really nice and stretchy it has this butterfly and sunflower floral print on it the bottom says no rain no flowers which i love i love that idea online i think it's so cute um this is in a 3x glad i got the size wouldn't have sized down wouldn't have sized up perfect size for me i feel like everything i got was really well sized for the most part and that's where I'll probably i'll order from now on but based on the reviews kind of go up and down but for the most part 3x it really seems to fit me well um I will probably end up tucking this into a skirt, which is the one you will see in a minute, and the one that is in the try-on video. I just love this. I think it's so fun. Perfect for spring. Perfect for summer. If you're looking for that kind of vintage style t-shirt, this is a great option. Um, and it's a really nice shirt. Like, it's a nice quality shirt. It's not super thin or scratchy. It's really soft and cozy. I would recommend that one. Basically, I'll recommend everything from this video. I am so floored <laughs> my Shein this time around. Next, um, I have this really beautiful black satin style top. Now, this quality of this one isn't exceptional. It's not bad or terrible, but it's not anything that's like, wow, that's, you know, worth $35 or anything like that. Then again, I spent next to nothing on this. Um, so just keep that in mind. However, it's not see-through. It's nice and opaque. It's a, just a really pretty satin style cowl neck. Uh, tank top. I love this. I think this will be so nice when you when we actually can start going out again and like want to go out on the town, go out with your friends, have a couple drinks, want to feel like sexy but not like overly scandalous and showing a bunch of skin. This definitely kind of droops around the decollete but it doesn't show a lot of cleavage, at least on me. I will probably tighten the straps a little bit, which I do love that you can tighten the straps on this one because they're a little bit loose. This is in the size 3X. Um, I probably wouldn't wear this untucked. I feel like it looks better tucked, but you definitely can get away with wearing it untucked. And it goes about just um, above the bottom of my cheeks, my booty. Um, anyway, I love it. Really cute. I think this is beautiful. It comes in other colors. I would recommend this one as well. I think it's really sexy. And like, if you want to try the cow neck trend, I feel like this is a good one. I'm just realizing that I got deodorant on it. Dang it. Um, in the try on haul, I wore it with this skirt. This is also the same skirt that I tried on that t-shirt with. And this is a maxi, um, leopard style skirt. Now I can't really tell you what type of fabric this is. It's not satin. It's not, it doesn't really feel like rayon. It's a bit stiffer and a bit rougher, but not in a necessarily a bad way. It has movement and flow to it, but it's not going to cling. I feel like sometimes when you get the really like rayon style maxi skirts, they have a lot of movement and pretty flow, but then they cling really badly and there's a lot of static where this one doesn't do that. So I like it a lot. Um, it has a nice elastic waistband um, and then the uh, tie has little black tassels on it. And the winner uh, part of the skirt is that there is a nice big slit in the front it's only on one side and i love that i think that it adds such a nice like little sexiness to it without being overly showy it doesn't sh it doesn't ride all the way up to my crotch or anything or even like high thigh i think it's about mid thigh um top of the knee i love it i think it adds just a little bit of zhuzh to a skirt especially with a maxi skirt so sometimes it can look really heavy um, on the bottom but this kind of opens it up and adds a bit more shape to it i love it this is in a size 3x it fits really well um, on my waist like upper waist area and that is probably where i would wear it i'm sure that it could probably stretch out over like on my hips if i wore it lower but i will probably wear it up higher um, where my waist is so love it glad i got it the next thing I'm going to show you is the thing that I'm currently wearing. It is this kind of sweater, shirt, crop, cardigan thing. 
I don't know what these are called. I feel like these are like what's cool now. It's kind of like a shell cardigan that's cropped, but it's a shirt. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's ribbed, but it has almost a sweater type of texture and um it's ribbed um and has like almost like a sweater type texture but it's not thick like a sweater i don't really know how to describe that any other way um i really like it it's really stretchy it is definitely pretty cropped um very cropped is all I gotta say. I would absolutely probably size up. Um, once again though, if you don't have a very large bust and it's not gonna have a lot to stretch over, you may be totally fine with the size that you're recommended. But for me, I have a very large bust. So next time I would absolutely probably size up because it comes like literally right underneath my boobs. Like if I lifted my arms, it would just be like boobs. So this isn't something I probably will wear out in public. But once again, like I said with the other crop pieces, this is something that's just comfortable, easy to wear at home with my high-waisted leggings just feel like cute and fun and like on trend but you know I'm not showing anybody not that it matter if I did but for my own comfort I like the way that this is so I would recommend it but I would size up um, the actual buttons are usable on this one so you can unbutton and rebutton I do believe this one came in other colors most of the crop tops did um, but I'm not 100% positive on that one but I of course got everything in this beautiful rust terracotta color because that's literally all I want to own in anything um, but I like it it's comfortable stretchy it's nice I would recommend moving on to one of my favorite pieces I mean, um, honestly, most of these items, like, knocked out of the park. But this one I freaking love. And it is this beautiful, like, peasant-style, cottagecore type of vibe dress. Um, it has a square neckline, really, really puffy, fun, billowy sleeves with the bottom has, like, a ruffle. They're elastic sleeves, so they stretch really nicely over the arm. Um, I will say that the top part is a little bit big. It doesn't really bother me, but I will say that it's a little bit looser on top. So if you don't have very broad shoulders or you don't really have a large bust, just keep that in mind. It may be a little bit looser on top than it is on the bottom. Um, you can wear it off shoulder. I'll probably wear it like, you know, on top of my shoulders because I love the square neckline, but this is easily something you can wear off shoulders without a problem. It does have a tie in the front, but it doesn't really tighten it or anything. It's just for show. There is a zipper in the back, but I don't have to. I can just pull it over my head and don't have to unzip it. Now, the only thing I don't like about this dress is that it's very thin. Like, the actual dress part of this is super, super thin. I believe this is like a rayon style fabric, so it definitely will shrink. So keep that in mind when you're washing it. But I will definitely probably wear this with either some shapewear underneath or biker shorts or something that I feel like just in case there's a breeze or something, because this will just whoop right on up. So if you're going to wear this out in public, I definitely would have something underneath unless, you know, you're planning, I don't know, your life. All right. You do what you want to do when it comes to dressing yourself. But I personally will probably wear shapewear underneath it um, because I will feel most comfortable like that. Um, and I feel like it will just smooth everything out because of the fabric is so thin. You can kind of see a bit more in the lump and bump vibe of it. So just keep that in mind. Still happy that I got it. I think that if I would have sized up one, I think it would have been too big up top. So I'm glad that I got the size that I did, but just keep that in mind. Although I just love it. I think it's really pretty. I do believe that maybe not under the same listing, but very similar. They have a green one of these. That's pretty much the exact same, but in a forest green color. Once again, I love the rusty maroon, even if it's a fall color, it's just it's so pretty to me. And I just, I love the print and pattern. I just, it's, it's so fun. It just makes me think of a dress I used to have as a child. All right, moving on. This thing sold out like hotcakes. It has since been brought back, I, I believe, and I'm hopefully it's still available, not sold out again. Um, but I feel like these, this is like the cool thing. The mom jeans, high-waisted mom jeans, and like a tank top underneath. You just rock a sweater, a, a cardigan that's like really oversized and baggy, and you just look like, not Topanga, because she, this, I don't feel like this was her vibe. I don't know what vibe I'm looking at, thinking about, but you know what I'm saying? Just like a cool 90s chick. Um, it's this really nice mauve waffle knit style cardigan. Once again, this is really cozy and will keep you warm, but it's not overly hot, so it's something you can easily wear in the spring. As we transition from super cold to more like warmer weather, 
Um, this is again something that I will probably, like I styled in the try on portion of this, will just wear casually at home, being comfortable. It's not something that I want to be probably wearing out a whole lot, but I feel like it's baggy enough, long enough, whatever that I can. So if you are like me and are not super comfortable in cropped things, I feel like this is still something that will absolutely work for you. I did size up because all of the reviews similar to this top said that if you had a large bust, it's very cropped underneath. Where I found that this was actually pretty long um, since I sized up to a 4X. So I found that this was actually had a lot more length than any of the other crop things I got. So just keep that in mind. I liked how baggy it is and loose because it's kind of like off the shoulder, like I said, kind of that cool girl, cool 90s girl vibe. But if you don't want it as big I would go to your normal size that you shop with at Shein. Um, did come in a bunch of colors. I liked the mauve once again. This is the color palette I go to but they did have that like baby blue that's really popular right now. Cream, I think a gray, stuff like that. I will have everything like I normally do linked below so you can shop it but I did like, I like that. This, this number I'm so excited about. I have nothing in my closet like this and this is a beautiful like tea party style dress. This makes me think of Love Shack Fancy, which if you don't know is like a super trendy, popular, very expensive boutique that I do not think caters to plus size plus sizes at all. Um, but this looks like something you would have easily bought off of there. It's just kind of like a tea party style dress. It's so pretty. Cottage core tea party. Um Bridgerton, like this gives me major Bridgerton vibes. Online, this did not look nearly as blue as it is in person. I am glad that it is this beautiful baby blue color, but online I feel like it looked a lot more beigey gray. Um, so just keep that in mind if you were looking for that color. I don't feel like it's near, it's the same at all. However, I love the baby blue of this. I did size up to a 4X because the reviews did say that it ran a little bit small and snug. I'm glad that I did. It's not too big, um, but it definitely has some room there. I may would have liked it a little bit more finished in my body, but I don't think this is unflattering by any means. I'm glad that I did size up. I'm giving you a sneak peek because I just ordered a bunch of swimsuits off of Shein and I'm waiting for them to come in so I'm going to share a little sneak peek but you're not going to see the try on version of it until the other ones come in but just in case you want to get your hands on it now because this is like one of the most beautiful unique swimsuits I feel like I've ever seen I feel like there were so many cute plus size swimsuits on Shein that were just unique and I loved them so I found this like palm leaf style one piece now what makes this so unique is one it's a one piece that goes like pretty deep but it has like an almost like a belt. Where's the belt? Oh, the belt's on this side. It has like a belt, belted um, waist with this like fun tortoise shell like belt loop. It's not adjustable or anything, but it looks really nice on. And then the sleeves are these really big billowy um, chiffon style sleeves. It's like a swimsuit cover it almost style with this little lace elastic band at the bottom of it. This is so flattering so beautiful it's nice and thick I this is probably one of my the my most favorite swimsuits I've ever had I love it I love how unique it is I love how that it still has like like some sexiness to it with the plunge but it's still conservative and covers up a lot I love this I will have it linked below like I said I will do a try on uh, portion when I get all the swimsuits in um, I know so, so many of us are starting to go swimsuit shopping as things warm up and we start playing on vacations god willing um, as the pandemic hopefully starts coming closer to closer to a uh, close and we get vaccinated um, but I love this one piece I've never had something a swimsuit that I've loved more so I highly recommend it I do believe I bought like my usual size which is a 3x I don't think I sized up or usual size at Shein um, I think a 3x coordinates to a 16 or 18 I can't remember yeah this isn't a 3x um, so I didn't size up or size down and I'm glad I got this size I can't wait to get the other ones in so I can film a whole swimsuit haul for you I hope you guys are excited for that one because I'm so excited to get those in so that is everything that I got I hope you enjoyed this haul. This was so much fun for me. Like I said, I feel like I haven't gone shopping for myself in quite a long time. So it was so fun just to pick out a couple of new clothes. And once again, like getting all the swimsuits coming in, I'm so excited for. I cannot wait to spend my summer in the pool. And this one, if it's any telling to how well this one turned out, I'm hoping that all those swimsuits are just as good because this one has just got me on like a swimsuit rampage now. 
Um, but I hope you got some good ideas. And like I said below, I will have everything linked below. Um, I will say things sell out pretty fast on Shein, but they are pretty good about restocking pretty regularly, especially for things that are really, really popular and hot right now. So if they're out of a certain color or a certain size or whatnot, just keep checking back. Just put it on your wish list um, and keep checking back because they bring you, bring you back pretty regularly. So. That is it. Please leave below if you'd like to see any more Shein hauls or if there are any places that you would like me to check out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys.